So if I was going to describe my hair as a person, uh, like a Leo, basically, <laughs> just like wild, like does their own thing. We're best friends and enemies at the same time. Oh. <laughs> hair takes a lot more work than you would think. It is like its own person. It does what it wants when it wants. It's like having a moody sister and I'm sort of like trying to tell it, well I want you to stay here. It's like, well no, I don't, I don't really feel like it today, sorry. On a good hair day, my hair makes me feel like nobody can tell me anything when it's done, when it's laid, when it's right, but <laughs> when it's not, it, it humbles me a lot. <laughs> It's big, it's bubbly, um, it's kind of crazy, <laughs> and uh, I, I love it. My relationship with my hair, we're working on it. We've come a long way. As for right now, I feel like the relationship with my hair is really positive and carefree as I'm allowing it to be whatever it wants to. My relationship with my hair is great now, but definitely didn't used to be. Where I grew up, there was no one else with my hair type, and um, I didn't see it in magazines, I didn't see it on TV. I felt very different to everyone else, and I guess I just wanted to fit in. I am just now at 21 years old learning how to take care of my kind of hair. I can wear it curly, and I can change it up, and I can wear braids, and I can straighten it. I feel like I can do everything with my hair, so even though it's a lot of work, that's what I love about it. Growing up, I didn't, I didn't like my hair. It was very frizzy and I had braces and it wasn't straight and blonde and flowy and fabulous. Growing up with my hair, it wasn't the texture that I wanted it to be. And I tried my hardest to make it look certain ways and I pulled and I tugged and, and it wasn't having it. When I was probably like 15, 16, one of my friends influenced me and was like, you should get a weave. It was plastic, pretty much. I got it installed, I still rocked it, it was long. And I was walking around with this mop on my head. It was a rude awakening into the hair scene. I had it chemically treated as a child, and then I experimented with relaxers when I was a teenager. And yeah, now it's natural. It's been natural for about three years, so that's no chemicals, no dyes, etc. I remember the first time I straightened my hair. I remember walking outside and the wind was blowing and my hair was just flowing in the wind. I'm pretty sure I got whiplash that day. So I'd literally come home from school and straighten it and in the morning spend hours straightening it just to have dead straight hair. I've got a really good relationship with my hair now, even when it rains, even when you're touching my hair, even when it's humid outside. And it was only until the sort of rise of social media that I've learned how to manage my hair. Now it's, uh, it's, it's more of a love-love relationship, but hate when you're unreliable. I love that it's so big and it's just a great conversation starter as people always want to know how I get it like this, what I use, so yeah I love so many different things about it. I can have it straight, I can have it curly, I can tuck it all away, put it under a wig and do everything I need to do to a wig to have a different look if I want to, um, but I really love the afro texture of my hair. I don't know, I guess it's a statement. I feel like sometimes I can just look like absolute trash, but if my hair's done it's fine. <laughs> When I first started wearing my hair out like this, whenever I'd be on the tube, I was worried that people would be looking at me and be like, what's what's on her head sort of thing. But now I, I go out and I feel proud and I feel very confident. My message to the hair industry would be to be more inclusive of all shades and all textures. We also need to be transparent with what we're putting in the products and using all the chemicals and sulfates. For any type of hair, it's not good. When I see a billboard of a woman with natural hair, I don't want to see her with just my complexion. I want to see darker skin tones and I just want everyone to be celebrated in the hair industry. So brands, you guys need to fix up, okay? <laughs> so I grew up in an Afro-Caribbean household and I didn't feel like I was very represented um, by what I saw on TV, what I saw in magazines. Now though, I feel like that's changed a lot. I feel like that was something that was needed and I'm glad to be part of it. Now I feel more secure in who I am and I'm not going to change for anyone. So these are my curls, it's my crown and it's not going anywhere.